Hey everyone, we're going to use the Movers theorem. If z equals r cis of theta, then z to the n equals r to the n cis of n theta. So this is an example of the Movers theorem. And we're given c. We're going to write this in polar form. So let's do that now and then find all of these using this formula. Then we're going to plot them on an argand diagram. So first of all, um, to put it in this uh, polar form, we know that r equals um, square root of 1 half squared plus uh, square root of 3 squared. And we want the positive, so that's going to be 1. And then when you do a uh, tan of theta, you get square root of 3 divided by 2 divided by 1 half, which is your square root of 3. So theta equals 60 degrees. So we can rewrite this in polar form as um, negative. Uh, so this is going to be 1 cis of 60 degrees. There's your 1 and there's your 60 degrees. So let's uh, use our theorem now and find the rest. So we have z equals 1 cis of 60 degrees. So z squared equals 1 squared. I'm using this uh, theorem. Cis of 2 times 60 degrees. So this equals 1 cis of 120 degrees. And then that equals negative 1 half plus square root of 3 divided by 2i. Okay, now let's do z cubed. And so you just fill in, use the formula. So that's going to be 1 cubed cis of 3 times 60, which equals 1 cis of 180 degrees, which equals negative 1. And then let's do c to the 4th power. So 1 to the 4th cis of 4 times 60, which equals 1 cis of 240 degrees which equals negative 1 half minus square root of 3 divided by 2i. Just remember what quadrant you're in, so that helps. And then for z5, we get 1 to the fifth, cis of 5 times 60 degrees. And that equals 1 cis of 300 degrees, which equals 1 half minus square root of 3 divided by 2i. And then finally, the last one is z to the 6th, which equals 1 to the 6th, cis 6 times 60 degrees, which equals 1 cis 360 degrees, which equals 1. So that's all we had to do for that. We're just using De Movra's theorem and uh, we get this and uh, now we have to plot these and I already did that so it's kind of hard to draw this so basically um, for z that was 160 degrees so I did this as uh, 60 degrees with radius as 1 so here's your 1's All right, and then I went around and uh, just kept adding 60 degrees. Or you can use what we did on the previous slide. And what you see is shows six powers of Z are closely related to the construction of a uh, regular hexagon inscribed in, in a circle with radius of one. And um, if you want, you can draw these lines to do the hexagon 
here, go to these points. And that's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.